Welcome to Solving Trigonometric Equations Part 2. So for this one, we're going to be looking at when trig equations or trig functions are equal to a negative ratio. So the first video focused on positive ratios and therefore we went into the positive quadrants. So for this one, we're doing negative ratios, so these go into the negative quadrants. So sine would be in quadrants 3 and 4, that's where it's negative. Cos would be in quadrants 2 and 3, and tan would be in quadrants 2 and 4. So the first thing is you draw the triangles in the correct quadrants where the negative ratios are. You then solve the trig function using a positive ratio, and we do this because it creates a, an acute angle that we can put into the triangles. And with that acute angle, you place it in the triangles to solve for both quadrants. So our examples we're going to look at is when cos is equal to negative a half and when sine is equal to negative two thirds. So when cos is equal to negative a half, so pick your two uh, quadrants where cos is negative, so that's quadrants two and three. Solve it as a positive, so cos theta equals a half, and then you do shift cos or cos minus one of a half, and that gets you the 60 degrees that you put in the triangles. From the positive axis, x-axis, around to the lines. So using the angular measure, we get the first one is 180 minus 60, which is 120, and the second one's 180 plus the 60, which is 240. For the second example, we have sine theta equals negative two thirds. So once again, where is sine negative? Well, that's in quadrants three and four. Solve it as a positive. So we solve sine theta equals to positive two thirds. So we do shift sine of two thirds. That gets us 42 degrees. Note we've got an acute angle again. Put that acute angle in the two triangles that you've drawn. So our first angle then becomes from the positive x-axis Using the angular measure around to the line, we get 180 plus 42, which is 222, and 360 minus 42, which is 318 degrees. Thank you.